looks fresh. Looks like they didn't make it to the block. Oh God, those are human teeth. Rats. They're everywhere in King's Landing. Jailer! Please. Shut it! Please come here! I, I wonder if I can pry it loose. Strong are these bars? <clears throat> uh, hello? I excuse me? What do you want? Can you get me out of here? Because if not, I don't want to know. Hey, no talking. Jailer, Jailer, come over here. Oh, don't you start again. Why don't you come here for a moment? We can have a little chat about it. God's woman, I said shut it. Or I will come in there, and you won't like what happens. Well, what do you want, then? Well, tell me! Please! I'll do anything. Just tell me! Ugh, bastard! Before the day's over, they'll take us. Straight to the block. So don't give me that look. You can leave the judgment to the father. I wasn't. I... I wasn't giving you any look. Don't deny it. I saw the disgust in your eyes. As if you never did anything you were ashamed of. I have a son. A little baby boy. I think of the smell of his skin. His tuft of brown hair. There is nothing I wouldn't do. Nothing. Just to hold him again. You think I give two shits about your judgment? What would you do in my place? People will tell your son about you. Stories about what you were in life. Give him a story he can be proud of. But you've no idea what I've done. Doesn't matter what we've done. All that matters now is what we do next. Mira, making friends already, I see. Be quick. We'll be coming back for her next. For your trouble. What? Nothing to say? Block will do that to you. They'll be here for you soon. You don't have much time. <coughs> Enough! <coughs> I've come to talk. I've come to make you an offer. I was thinking about our encounter in the streets. I realized that I'd overlooked something of great value. Your name. I want you as my wife. Your wife? Do you do all your wooing in cells? I'm new to courting, but I imagined less violence and intimidation. Wars are won and lost in the marriage bed, Mira. Kingdoms, too. And I want my own kingdom. 
I'll start with an old and noble house, with a keep like Ironrath. It may not be the grandest castle in Westeros. Why would I do that? What's in it for me? You keep your head, of course, and I'll get you out of here. But if you don't value that, think of your bloodline, your precious Forester legacy. This is your chance to make sure it carries on. What are you talking about? Two of your brothers are already dead. That idiot Lud will take care of the rest. <laughs> he marches on your house in full force with ten times your numbers. I'm sorry, Mira. None of your family will survive the battle. You don't know that! Ironrath will fall to you. And through marriage, it will become mine. A hold fast in the north can only help my ambitions. So we'd rule together, as Lord and Lady of Ironrath. <laughs> That's an amusing thought, but not what I had in mind. It's fitting our betrothal begins in a cell. I'd say it's a perfect symbol for the rest of your life. You plan to keep me locked up? Well, perhaps not literally. If you play your part and produce my heirs. The murder of a Lannister guard can't go unpunished. But I can get you out of here, Mira. One word from me, that coal boy takes your place on the block. Tom! All you have to do is agree to marry me. You'll give up your power. You'll give up your ancestral home. But you'll be alive. So, Mira, what do you say? Good. She won't get far. Not out here. Sylvie! He's my brother! I, I wasn't finished! <laughs> when you're finished here, come see me. There's something I must show you. I don't trust these people, Garrett. Which is why I had to see Cotter. He's not well. And he, he won't live much longer. I need you to do something for me. I didn't want him to suffer anymore, Garrett. Just to ease his pain, but... That's when they found me. The Nightshade. I need you to be the one to end his suffering. But... It's our way, Garrett. You have to feed it to him. I'm trusting you to do this, Garrett. You're the only one who can. He's in so much pain.
I did everything within my power to help your friend. But I'm afraid it's too late. Nothing can save him now. Sylvie told me. Nightshade? What are you going to do with that? You realize it's deadly. And has no place in here. This is for Cotter. You can't give him that. I don't know what that wildling told you. But that will kill him and taint his blood. <coughs> Gareth. Gareth, is that you? It's me, Cotter. I'm here. Where's Sylvie? I want to see her. Where is she? Don't worry. Our friends are taking care of her. What? What do you mean, our friends? She wanted me to look after you. Oh, you have to protect Sylvie. Ah! Cotter! Oh, I can't bear it anymore! Oh. He's been incredibly brave. A lesser man would have died days ago. But I suppose you already knew that about him. This wasn't supposed to happen. I always thought he'd be here, fighting by my side. But now you can use his death to give his life meaning. This was always intended for my father. It's a sacred symbol of the power of the North Grove. Forged from iron, the handle made with ironwood from this very tree. In my father's absence, you speak for House Forrester. It seems only right that you should have this now. You're here for a reason, Garrett. I'm honored. Thank you. It's well deserved. Your friend is dying. But his life is too valuable to waste. Give me his heart. His beating heart. And his death can have meaning. We can use it for a greater purpose, Garrett. An ancient ritual to help harness the power of the North Grove. But... We must do this, Garrett. I fear what might happen if we don't. Why me? Can't you do it yourself? Not alone. I'm far too weak. You saw what happened after the fight. My warriors? They're pulling away. Please, I need you to do this. For me, for the North Grove. Garrett, please, can't take it any longer. End his suffering. Use his life to make us strong, Garrett. Give him that poison, and his blood will be useless. I'm sorry, but I can't do it. Cotter's my friend. I wouldn't be here if not for him. And I have to respect what Sylvie asked me to do. Then so be it. Gorn Bison Air. We must burn the body.